Hey everybody, what's going on? It's Miss Tahina with Missing Those Lego Robotics. Today's video, I'm going to take a regular educator robot and turn it into a Roomba robot. Tahina Lego Robotics. Okay, so I've been fascinated by these robotic vacuum cleaners and I thought to myself, hey, we can make one of those out of our EV3 robot. In fact, I even used some of the inventor pieces. So what I'm going to do today is show you how you might possibly be able to do that with some resources. So I thought the best resource would be a KFC bucket. You guys have a KFC near you? Oh, you know, it's not yeah. perfectly cylindrical, so, you know, disregard that part. And, you know, I thought, wait a second, if I go to KFC, will they just give this to me? So I did throw out that I was a teacher and I was gonna use it for a robotic project. And they're like, oh yeah, yeah, we'll just give it to you. So I ended up getting a bucket of KSC and then they gave me two extra buckets. So I'm gonna definitely have to make use of this for another project. But so if you want to just go to KFC and throw down, hey, I'm a teacher, I'm an educator. Um, I'm not sure if they'll give a student one. They kind of act, act, acted like I was crazy, like you want what? But you know, when I told them I was a teacher, they gave me the KFC bucket. So what I'm going to do is use this as a cover for this educator robot. And so I'm going to show you how I, you know, cut everything up and decorate this to look like a Roomba. Are you kidding me? So a regular Roomba would be about 3.6 inches high. And I tried to get the robot to be that low to the ground. And I was having issues because the lower you go with an EV3, the wider it becomes and it ended up not fitting underneath this bucket. So today, the Roomba that I make is gonna be higher than the normal Roomba, but you guys understand. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and cut this so that it fits on top of this educator robot. And then I'm gonna definitely have to make some adjust adjustments to the bucket in order to get the ultrasonic sensor to be able to see through it. Okay, so the first thing I did was I drew a line I measured this out to see how much it would fit on top of this educator robot. So what I'm going to do is basically just have to cut this out and that's how much of the bucket I'm going to lose. That's probably about two inches. Okay, so this was my prototype from before. And so what I want is I want to make sure this stays on good. So I put these five hole beams on here. So that way when you put this on, it will, you know, if this thing rotates, this will rotate with it. So all I did was when I put this on, I kind of felt around to see where these would stick up. So I'm gonna have to do the same thing to this one. Okay, so I just took some black construction paper and put it around the bucket. I had to put it in sections and I'm gonna have to do a better glue job there um, because the KFC bucket is not perfectly cylinder. So when you cut, you know, these rectangles out, it's not gonna perfectly glue down. So that's why you might see a little bit of that, but that might be cool because when it turns, you can actually see that it's turning. So now for the lid here, so I just, Cut out the top and that'll go over the holes.
And there we go. Perfect little window for the ultrasonic to be able to see. I just had to make sure I cut it wide enough because, you know, sometimes the ultrasonic sensor, the signal might come straight out. So I just had to make it wide enough so that it's not seeing these edges right here. Okay guys, so there you have it. Educator bot, my Roomba KFC makeshift do-it-yourself robot here. So it was just one of those things where it's satisfying when it comes from, you know, an idea to actually, you know, all of these stages. So definitely want to give props to the folks at KFC for giving me those uh, buckets for free. And then it's just cool to see it go from there to getting the robot built to the programming and to the decorating to making sure everything can work right you know to stay on top of the robot to be able to see you know to have that cutout work for it to be able to see hey look like darth vader um, but it's just really neat and satisfying to be able to get that to work and you know to look like a real roomba so for those of you that have one it's really cool to be able to you know see that it works and you know, you really don't have to worry about a robot, you know, vacuuming. You just let it go and does its thing. So another cool, satisfying project robot from EV3. And it used some of the inventor parts, the wheels. And I mean, you know, I, could, I didn't have to use that. But I went with the inventor wheels because if I had gone with the EV3, it would have been too thick. Uh, to for this to fit over so those inventor wheels mm, love the uh, just the narrowness of it um, to be able to get things to work so okay guys hopefully you like that project i am mr hino from missing zag robotics i'm out he's out he's out we got this we got this we got this guys 
Hey guys, Mr. Hino here. Thank you so much for watching. And if you love robotics, don't forget to check out these videos also because they're cool. Okay guys, take care.